YouTube is K-Man. I am back bringing RuneScape. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Not much has gone on since last time. Um. Oh yeah. My sister went to the mall today, like with her friend and my mom, and they managed to go buy Hot Topic because my sister wanted some. What's it called? Uh, the Gur stuff from Invader Zen. And there, there were two um, bracelets that they thought I might like. One was asking Alexandria, the other one was uh, Blackfield Brides. I'm like, ooh, can I get them both? Can I get them both? Can I get? Well, um, I was at home. My sister called me. I'm like, can I get them both? Can I get them both? Can I get them both? And I was just like spinning in circles and shit. And um, she asked my mom. My mom's just like, no. So I, um, I had to pick one. I'm like, you know what? I'm not picking. Screw it. Just don't get anything. Um, um, but my sister picked one for me anyway and brought it back. It was a Blackfield Brides one because it was like red with white Blackfield Brides. Ooh, 2K. And, um, and it says Rebels in like a sexy black and that's amazing. Um, but yeah, next time we go, I I'm definitely going to get myself the, what's it called? The, the Ask Alexandria one, even if it's like light blue. Because Ask Alexandria is amazing. Alright, so last time we left off, I guess I was getting some tasks and shit, so yeah. Ooh, today's gonna be a good day. Got pancakes, a Taco Bell, my mom brought it back from, um, what's it called? The, the, the mall, the, where they went to Hot Topic, freaking Taco Bell, man, I love Taco Bell. Um, although I can't really eat any of the meat stuff because I'm Muslim, but, um, they have cheese quesadilla, and I have that, like, every time. And for some reason, there is no more, um, in Dubai, there's no more Taco Bells, which, like, really sucks dick. Uh, oh well, what can you do? <laughs> sure, I burned it. Oh, you can eat the burnt meat? What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Nice. Um, any tasks for that? Did I get this one? Oh, oh drainer. No, sorry. Okay, good. Did I just say sock? I think this just means I'm not high enough level for it. Mystic Might, isn't that... Okay, no, that might be numbers, actually. Well, but I'm pretty sure you can make... Oh, to check out my way. Right. Um. Oh yeah. Um. Oh wait, no, I have nothing important to say. I never have anything important to say. Uh, uh, I really do not want to record in this game today, only because uh, then I have to put on the system audio. I have to record that, and I really want to listen to set the world on fire because I like that song. Oh yeah, oh, I got a new update for you guys about, I guess, my musical taste. I have, I guess, agreed to stop hating on Justin Bieber for a certain reason. That reason being that uh, Danny Warsnop from Asking Alexandria says that Justin Bieber is awesome. I didn't really realize that until um, I, I got this message. Uh, I read a comment on the 
on one of the um, Ask Alexandria videos from Sumerian Records YouTube channel, um, saying that, uh, that, that they're going to have to stop hating Bieber, and I'm like, well, hi, and, and because I didn't read the rest of the comments, I read the rest of it, and it's like, because Daniel Warsaw said Justin Bieber is amazing, if this interview puts the slash watch link there, and I went and checked it out, and I'm like, holy crap, he likes Justin Bieber, so... Maggie. Oh, creeper hair. Oh, okay, I already did that. Oh, I already started. I've started so many quests that I don't intend on finishing for at least another million parts. Swept away. It's the members of the filter. Oh, I done. No, okay, I can't just get rid of all the members ones. I want to look at the members ones, because then I'll think about the members ones. Oh, shit. Lagalicious. Uh, I'll, uh, um, I'll get back to you on the lag. Alright, YouTube is came and we are back. Um, I'm tired as hell. Um, I'm doing most recording because original audio kind of didn't get recorded because it was all this shit. I mean, I had like a lot of time before I, I came back and did the internet thing because I don't know, it was probably like half an hour. I took a break before I started recording again because the internet actually took that long to resolve itself. Let's see, there were some. But yeah, so um, now I'm doing this post-recording, um, second day of school on a Tuesday, and I'm going to upload this tomorrow, so yeah, um, school's going great, you know, um, for you guys who are at school, um, like you guys to put a comment about how your first day, your first two days, and three, depending on when I upload this video, of school have been, I mean, uh, so yeah. I've started high school and it's pretty chill, I guess. I mean, no, no, it's not chill. Um, it's insane, I guess. So, I was looking forward to the block schedule, which is basically you have four classes, but you swap them every semester. But it's four classes. I mean, they're long, like an hour and a half, I think. But it's only four classes, so only four classes. Long. But now we are on seven, uh, eight, eight period schedule, so we have eight periods, I mean, one period, one 50 minute class is, um, lunch, but the rest are 50 minutes of oh. learning to each subject. Um, only problem I see with that, I have no problem with that, as far as anything goes, uh, I mean, like, as far as, like, work and school goes, only problem I have is that now you're going to be getting about twice as much homework because you still need to cover the same amount of material that you had an hour and a half class to do in 50 minutes, and then you still have the same amount of homework that they would have given you. Because like, if you have four classes, you can obviously give more homework than if you have eight, but the teachers don't really care. They're just like, no, screw it, you need to do your work, this high school now. So, essentially, you've got about twice homework, you know, from fourth to seventh. Not exactly twice, but you know, it's about the same, so it's about, no, it's not about the same, it's about twice as much work, so, yeah. Although, I got a good story to tell you about my first day, um, so, as you guys know, I'm, um, I guess, well, if you look at my channel name, Emo MFR, I guess, you can sort of gather as to the kind of person I am. So, I make a point of wearing my most emo clothes on the first day, because they're like my favorite clothes. My gray skinny jeans, my let's see, my camo shirt, uh, my short sleeve camo shirt, um, uh, my red and black skulled wristband, and my sister went to Hot Topic and got me the. Uh, I think it's early on, which is earlier on in the video that she got me the black veil bride thing. So I wear that. Um, got my red and black studded belt. Uh, well, oh yeah, yeah, my new headphones, uh, I can't afford beats, so I got like these crappy Panasonic ones. They're not crappy, they play music, they're good, I can block out the entire world, um, with it, so, you 
no, those seem not boxes. Um, yeah, so, um, I, except I put it on my neck, I don't put it on my ears, so that I can make sure I hear, like, when the bell rings and stuff. So I have it on my neck, I'm putting, I'm playing, um, Bring Me the Horizon, Pray for Plagues, the entire day, I, it's just on repeat, just praying this, you know, PRAY FOR PLAGUES! So, uh, yeah. oh, man, I love that song, it's just insane. I don't even know how to sing it. I'm gonna look it up live, just to see the difference, because I cannot, I, I've tried it, but I cannot do it where it's like, I just the stammer like I, I just can't do it as insanely as he did. I, I just can't. But um, they freaking see me like that. Oh yeah, I, and I, I make a point of not wearing my glasses as much as I can. So no glasses. Freaking. Okay, my hair is a bit shorter than it was before, and I have shaved my beard. So um, uh, I'm not as emo as I normally would have been. But like, oh my god, freaking! Like all of the, all the female. I mean, like the guys' teachers are just like chill. They're just like whatever. Or um. Uh, so they, they didn't really care what the freaking female teachers they just look at me like freaking scared out of their mind like I'm like their freaking worst nightmare and they're like holy shit like you can see like their jaw drops their eye wide their eyes widen and they're just like oh god <laughs> but like most of them are chill with it except for my language like, teacher um I try to sit in the back uh, usually I like to sit in like the back corner uh, even if I'm not going to be doing suspicious I mean, sure, usually I can like fool around or maybe start moaning. Because, oh man, we used to do that all the time in drama. But like, that was 7th grade. But like, uh, I, I try to sit in the back and then, uh, my, not exactly my friend, but basically we know each other from Spanish 1 back in middle school, uh, which was last year. So um, we both just basically go to sit in the back and we are known for being class clowns in Spanish. So, for I don't, I, I mean, obviously the teacher didn't know, but we look suspicious enough, so she freaking brings us straight out to the front, and like the entire class, she's keeping her eye on me, just waiting for her to do something, and then every time I make a mistake, she makes a point of correcting it, like, oh, you did not do it, but she, she says it in like this, right, like this really affronted tone, and I'm just like, bitch, shut up, I'm tired, I want to sleep, I'm not eating all day, be I've not had a sip of water all day, oh yeah, um, one thing about me, as far as school goes, I'm pretty much anorexic. Um, in the morning, I usually have like milk and cereal or like tea and a muffin. These huge ass freaking Costco muffins. Um, They're about the size of my hand, maybe bigger. Um, so uh, I have that with like a glass of tea with honey to calm my aller my morning allergies. Um, so the last time I have water would be at night before I go to sleep. The entire day at school, I do not drink, I do not eat. When I come home, I'm thirsty, hungry, and sleepy as fuck. So, at those, you know, like, the last three periods, last two, three periods, I'm just like... <sighs> Pass me the weed. <sighs> but, yeah, pretty much, I'm just tired, and so, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's my story. Um, I mean, my language arts teacher, I, I guess, uh, sh she's not really my style, but, like, I, I like my math teacher, we're both, like, clean freaks, so, although, she's sick today, and so, yeah, well, she was sick on Tuesday, she was here first day, but second day, she gets sick, I mean, you don't expect that from a clean freak, but, <laughs> yeah, I get sick all the time, and I'm, a, maybe it has something to do with me being a clean freak that gets me over excessively sick, I don't know. But, yeah. Um, yeah, my math teacher and I were just both, like, clean freaks, except she had, like, the most, like, obvious reaction for when she saw me. Because I, oh yeah, there's two back seats. One that's, like, in the back corner of the classroom, away from the teacher's desk. One in the back corner that's close to the teacher's desk. The one away from the teacher's desk is taken, so I freaking waltz my fat ass up there, freaking playing stream as loud as my headphones, loud as my headphones can. The whole class, like, if you're within a 10 foot radius, you can hear me. Like, you can hear my music, so. The teacher's just like, oh my god, and I come up right there, sit right next to her in the back corner. Oh, um, what other stories can I tell? Well, I'm taking JROTC. Well, that's. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that high pitched noise from the RuneScape system audio it's always gets me. For some reason, I'm not listening to music and I'm playing the 
System audio, I don't know, maybe it just helps me keep track of time. Um, uh, what else is there to talk about? Um, oh yeah, I'm taking JRTC, which is Junior Reserve Officers. TC, come on, I think it's Training Corps, but I'm not completely sure. I just checked it like... But, uh, you know me, I'm just dumb as hell. Um, so yeah, I'm taking that. Um, there is a marksman class that, um, like a marksman bit that I really would like to get into. But, um, there's a test you gotta take, like the class is gonna take it. Top 10 are gonna be chosen for marksmen. Uh, um, and if you get chosen in the top 10, you gotta go and freaking learn how to use your little CO2 airsoft gun. And, I don't know, maybe like, like an airsoft field or something like that, but uh, you get like practice with airsoft guns, and that's that would be like amazing. Freaking run around with the CO2, freaking I, I don't know what it is, um, because Mr. Cruz didn't really say. I mean, obviously, standard issue for the U.S. Rangers is M16, uh, but we're just, but I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so but it's gonna be like airsoft, CO2 powered, and I'm. Um, and if I can get into it, I'll just be practicing headshots. Taking TV production, since I've been working on video editing since I was in fourth grade, I'm a bit more advanced than the average TV one person. It's like, I want to be a news anchor. And the teachers just like freaking pulling their blouse down so that they can get picked or for being a news reporter or something. And I'm just like, where is the software? It's like, well, it's like a home. <laughs> I would be like the only. I would just be like looking away, trying to, trying to fucking find the biggest, heaviest duty computer and just like freaking go on that, do editing, and then like all the other guys are just doing chicks with them. Oh, whatever, I'm a freak like that. Um, let's see. Uh, well, um, today, the second day, uh, the first day, I laid back pretty much, uh, you know, talked about the teacher. Apparently, they use Adobe software, so it's just like, yay! And the teacher, oh my god, today I asked him, he already, uh, I was like, uh, do you know about Video Copilot? Yeah, and Video Copilot, Video Copilot, Andrew Kramer, yeah, all this stuff. And then he starts, like, uh, listing all this stuff, and I'm like, like, uh, and you know, Red Giant software, and, like, and, um, and he's like, yep, and I'm like, you know, and like, yeah, for creating the water system. I'm like, damn. Like, I did not expect that from the teacher. And so basically, we're just getting along perfectly fine. Oh yeah, in the middle, because uh, that was after class. Um, in the middle of the class, um, he's like, so, uh, any, guy, any of you guys got questions, anything, even a fake question? I mean, come on. So, uh, I, eventually I just raised my hand and I go, what are the specs on these Macs? Because there's like a whole classroom. I'm lucky, uh, I'm pretty lucky to have like a full classroom full of editing Macs. So then he starts listing, um, listing the specs. Freaking everyone in the class freaking looks at us like, what the? <laughs> They're just going back and forth between us because we're like talking about the computer specs and all, like, you know, like 2.5 gigabytes of RAM, dual core processor, freaking things, stuff like that for the Mac. And he's, uh, I think he was like the older 2008 model, but you know, it, it seemed good enough for editing. So, so yeah, and then uh, he's just probably like, and you guys are just like, like, what the hell are these guys talking about? Because, uh, <laughs> like, no, pretty much no one in the past doesn't know what we're talking about. Um, we're, we are talking about straight up sheltered white kids. Uh, I, I consider myself really well sheltered because I've not really seen the world that much. I mean, I've had my fair few shit moments. Yep. One day I may just talk about them, but I'd probably have to move out first, or when I get into college, maybe I'll probably tell all those shit stories. I'm living on my own and do not have to worry about harping parents. Um, yeah, so, um, generally, like, sheltered white kids who don't really care, no, you know, they're just on it to use Facebook, they're only on Macs because everyone else has got them, they only got an eye touch because some fag said, oh, hey, look, I got an eye touch, it's amazing, their friends are, oh, let me get one, and all these little Jew fags are like, yay, we have money, uh, okay, that came off racist, <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, damn, this is my third time doing the audio, I have no idea, Did, oh yeah, 
We're gonna be get okay. We're doing like all the uh, we're working on like uh, time to get back into the game. We're working on like the subplot, basically about the wise old man and the bank robbery, which you probably already saw. I don't know. I wasn't. I was staring at the screen. I wasn't paying attention. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. At the end, we're gonna be buying stuff from Diego. Um. All like the. There's like the Caliphate Queen and like some other shit that, and the King Black Dragon, which I've seen pictures of both when watching RuneScape members quest tutorials and stuff. And just the thought of them getting married is just like what? And it's just like ew, mental image. But um, yeah. So there's like all these party favors and shit, and I just buy like one of everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure it costs more than 1,000. Was it 10k that I spent on that shit? I don't know. I just bought it because um, I wanted to show it off. And I kind of did want to get it. I mean, I like the little toy horsey and all that. I don't know. I'm just such a little kid. If you meet me, <laughs> I, I can be really different. Let's see. I can be a little kid. I like to have like little fun experiences. Like... Back when I was in like fifth grade, um, and we were living in Dubai, um, since everything there is halal, freaking first thing I do is freaking go straight up to McDonald's. What's up there, my emo freaking fat ass? This is back when I was a lot fatter. Um, I'll be like listening to scream on that hi, can I have a happy meal? And they'll just be like, the fuck? I, and this is like, I have my freaking long ass hair, like, straight over my eyes, freaking, in, in screamo listening, emo kid, freaking ask for a Happy Meal with a toy. <laughs> it's just so weird, but it's like, I've almost, like, never had one before, so, I, I quite like being able to get, like, a Happy Meal that's, like, somewhat, so amazing, for such a little kid like me. Um, then there's those awkward emo moments where I'm extremely depressed about some There's also my fun mood. Oh yeah, and then there's like my insane moods where I'm just like over the top about something. Usually like overexcited. When I'm overexcited, I'll be like freaking pl putting on that like, scream mode. Not like the really like heavy scream mode. Like, the, uh, pray for legs, but the uh, like when every when every day is a weekend or something or to the stage. Oh my god, I love to the stage by asking Alexander. Yeah, the way he does that sick ass laugh, I'm tempted to just edit it in. I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna edit in the, just the way he goes, ah, yeah, yeah. And the way he does that inhale is just like, I don't know, it's like symbolic, cause it's just that like, that inhale is like, like, like you're doing something, like you're just like, you know, having like a good time. You take that inhale, it's like, cause you realize something's going down or something, or you just like have a heart attack. You bring in that inhale, and you're about to drop dead, and that it's just like insane. Freaking, I love that shit. Um, Oh yeah, my friend. Mm. All right. Oh shit. Um. Okay. My friend told me to check out like this really uh, uh, apparently satanic band that apparently scared him. And he's like, the lead singer's uh, chick. And I'm just like, okay, I guess. And he's like, oh, the comments on the video saying the chick's hot. And I'm like, okay, I probably won't think that. And he's like, all right. And I'm like, okay, what you like? And he's like, oh, um. She looks all like dead and stuff, and uh, like 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 makeup and stuff, like uh, to make you look kind of like not like zombified, but kind of like I guess you could say kind of vampire-esque. Except uh, I don't want to bring Twilight in this, but Twilight just fucked up. I miss vampires when they were scary things, things that made you piss your pants in fear. I miss that. Not the oh, I'm Edward. I would fool. Mm. How does that work? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got a freaking huge ass question. All right, all right. How does that work? All right, when you die, I am pretty sure all s, s word, I guess. All okay, uh, okay. I'll just be blunt. All jizz that you produce, I'm pretty sure the cells will die out. Kind of like how like all the you know like you, you don't have blood in you after you're dead. I mean, in, uh, okay. Uh, it like eventually like drains out or so I don't know. Okay, you're obviously not gonna have jizz in you. How are you gonna get Bella freaking pregnant? And not, how are you gonna knock her up and pre get her pregnant? I don't get that. She's not. It, it doesn't make any sense. Ugh, God. And then the whole venom thing. 
what, what? I don't remember Venom being the original thing. Uh, Cause it's like, I was like, oh, she has Venom in her. I'm like, what the fuck? You, you have Venom? What are you freaking? The fuck? Uh, spider or something? Because I remember, uh, okay, uh, I've never seen the original Dracula, I don't know anything about the original Dracula, but what I always, Dracula, I just said Dracula, um, oh yeah, that's my golden hammer thing that I just got, it looks pretty cool, um, that is a golden hammer, right, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, what was it, uh, I'm talking about Twilight, oh yeah, I thought it was because Dracula bites into you and sucks the blood out of you, not freaking... Ooh, I will inject you with venom and then weird stuff. That doesn't make sense. Like if, you, cause uh, it says like, ooh, I want to taste your blood, but I also want to inject you with venom. Like, how does that work? Do you like suck her blood out and put venom in her or something? I don't get that. Freaking, freaking, freaking that chick. What's her name? Freaking Bella Swan creeper. Stephanie Meyer, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, because she was on the back of my Hunger Games book, freaking Stephanie Meyer, so the only one reason why I almost, like, did not read Hunger Games was because on the top, it's like, freaking review from Stephanie Meyer, it was great, and that's basically what my reaction was, you obviously didn't see my face, but my mouse just dropped, I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm just like, the fuck, um, ooh, I've, Fuck, I'm like seven more minutes, I think. Alright, so, alright. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the band. Okay, so she looks, I guess, like a little bit zombie esque. She got, I think it's like, oh, she got, she's scary as hell when she does the screaming and then and she's got like blood dri dripping down her face and everything. Like, obviously, makeup blood, not real blood. I'm like, damn, that sounds kind of hot. <laughs> and then he turns to me and looks at me like, what the oh, fuck? <laughs> alright, here it is. Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult and Slaughter Cult is one word. I will spell that out for you. D A R K E N E D space N O C K uh N O C T U R N Nocturne Slaughter Cult S L A U G H T E R C U L T Slaughter Cult of course being one word. I'm going to go look up the man, see what happens. Uh so yeah. Oh shit. Who's Chris Ryan? Uh I set myself this note. I took a note. Chris Ryan was. I, I think he's like some army writer or something like that. I'll, I'll look that up. Um. So yeah. All right. You guys are gonna see this episode on Wednesday, which is tomorrow for me. Back here in the land of eight slash twenty one slash twelve. Um. Let's see. Next episode of something should be on Friday. Um, I'm still working on getting my special series out. Um, still have to record the commentary over it because it's going to have to be post commentary. Because at the moment I cannot do live commentaries with that one recording of that general nature. Oh, here I'm buying stuff. As you can see. Um, yeah, you, you're just going to see me with like some. I'm not going to do all that stuff. I'm going to do like all the horses. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that cake th candle thing. What you need to do is you need to buy ten candles, put them on the cake, then light the cake. So yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> but, let's see. Oh yeah, I've got like these. Fuck. The phone is ringing. Oh, wow, it's my aunt from Texas. I'll let my mom get that. Um. Uh, oh, yeah, my cousin Scudder. Oh, yeah, uh. I don't know why, but I just feel like saying this. My cousin got, like, a full freaking doctor's scholarship for, for college. I think she's going to college. Is she going to college this year or is she going next year? I don't know. She's got her. No, 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 because they went to her graduation while we were in Dubai, right, right. She's going to college on a full doctor scholarship. Like, holy crap. She took, like, all those AP classes and shit, and she's, like, passed them all. And I'm just like, damn. I'm trying to be a little tech nerd and all. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess. I don't know why you'd be watching this, or if you even know my YouTube channel. But, hey, cousin, if you see me saying, I would say your name, but I'm not sure. 
you know, there's like all this viewer discretion crap nowadays. I mean, honestly, because because the only problem the problem with that is freaking American pedophiles who just love to rape everyone. I don't even. You know what? The pedophiles are about as desperate as me. I'm about as desperate as a pedophile. You do not see me raping anyone. I'm 14, but you know what? I could rape someone, but I'm just not going to because that's not who I am. Freaking all these. Ne never mind. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Um, Lady Dark Seeker. Don't really like her, I guess. I mean, didn't I already say that about Game of Thrones? It was on the first thing now. Um, I wanna uh, like we're gonna have to be like reading all this crap like Mockingbird to kill a Mockingbird. If it was like regular Mockingbird from Hunger Games, I'd be like, okay, no, we have to read to kill a Mockingbird from the Seek Seas. And we gotta read Romeo and Juliet. Only problem with Romeo and Juliet is, uh, don't get me wrong, I uh, I respect Shakespeare, bro. Amazing. Only problem is society has completely changed. No nowadays, no one gives a fuck about Shakespeare and is. It's because our society is just getting worse and worse, but, um, so, uh, anyway, uh, see, no one really gives a crap about Shakespeare anymore, I mean, 7th grade, we tried reading Shakespeare, freaking half the class, including me, passed out in drama, freaking the teachers reading on, like, everyone's paying attention, we all just passed out, I think I just set off the fireworks, um, on the game, um, so yeah, uh, honestly, like, I'm more into, or was that a firecracker? No, I think I'm doing the fireworks now, but whatever, um, okay, the video is about to end, so like, um, so yeah, uh, I'd rather be reading stuff like Game of Thrones, Percy Jackson, Hunger Games, and all. People say I'm too young to read, um, Game of Thrones, I actually doubt that, because in second grade, I was certified to read high school material, because I was considered mature enough, which... Bet you now, my skull glance, if you saw me. There goes all the maturity you thought I fucking had. Oh, God. <laughs> Where the fuck is my iPod charger? I gotta charge this shit for school tomorrow. Is it running out of battery? Pretty sure it's running out of battery. I keep this thing on, like, all school day long. Freaking not even a dent in the battery. Holy crap, this thing's a tank. Alright, guys, I'm... Okay, no, I've still got, like, one minute, but... Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna be wrapping up the video. Uh, next time we'll probably be doing some shit and other shit. Um, obviously, oh yeah, I gotta do that thing where we gotta cook the rat meat in, in with like logs inside the, uh, inside the swamps and all. We gotta cut down and we gotta cut down a dead tree, light it on fire, and then cook the meat on it, and then also cook the shrimps on it. What are you doing in my room? I'm recording. Get the fuck out of there. I'm recording. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I'm just yeah, okay, I'm playing with the toy horses which makes me look like a pedo just just say nay to gimp. Because all horses go nay. Oh he's up. Wait, wait, come over here, do a horse nice into the mic. And that is Is that a fucking sheep? Animal noises from my sister. So, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video go in silence. Goodbye, YouTube.